one in the north of Ireland. And today's video, I'm going to be giving some of the cacti their first neem oil treatment of the year. Now, I've done quite a few neem oil videos because it's absolutely brilliant as a pest treatment and as a pest prevention. And the, the, the only problem is always say with neem oil, it's not a contact as such, it's not a contact insecticide. It is one that you do have to keep repeating because it works long term to get rid of pests. It does this because it affects their reproductive system and it stops them from breeding long term. So it's not a treatment you could just use once if you've got mealybugs and spider mites and then hope it's going to go away. You do have to keep repeating it. Now I've already made a very in-depth video on how to use neem oil for cactus and succulent plants as well as for house plants and I'll link both of them videos up above and also down below in the video description so do go ahead and watch them if you want a really detailed video on how to use neem oil as a foliar drench and also as a soil drench as well. This is just a bit of a recap if you're sort of new to watching my videos and that and you want to know a little bit more about it. And I just want to mention the reason why I have not used the neem oil throughout the winter months is because I like to keep the cacti and succulents as dry as possible throughout the winter. And although neem oil is perfectly safe to use on insect pests and that during the winter time, because we keep our cacti in the polytunnel, when you do spray them with the, the neem oil treatment, because cacti, as those of you who know cacti, do have little ridges on their, on their plant bodies. It's, in, it's impossible to spray them without water collecting down, where it would drip down into the soil. And as I say, damp soil can be dangerous for cacti in the winter. So that's why I don't spray them with the neem oil during the winter time. Now it's, it's springtime now, and we've been having some really lovely, lovely weather. I haven't watered any of these desert cactus plants yet, and I won't be until next month, despite the warm weather, because it can still be quite chilly of a night time and I always prefer to just start in April to be on the safe side but it is safe enough now to give them a neem treatment because if any of the water gets into the soil it's only going to be slight and pretty much dry pretty quickly now we're having the good weather and as I mentioned in my neem oil video on how to use it in more detail I always mention that you can't do not spray neem oil treatment on sunny days and certainly not in sunshine, either first thing in the morning when you've got a few hours before the sun comes up or ideally late of an evening such as now. The sun, it's been a beautiful sunny day for this time of year. The sun has left the polytunnel. They're all in shade now, so it's pretty safe to give them a really good um, spraying with the neem oil. And uh, I'm going to talk about now, this is an email I've made up with a horticultural soap. I'm just going to show you now how I do it. Now here I am with my little uh, spray bottle here. And I've made up um, one litres of water. And as I say, it's uh, five millilitres of neem oil to ten millilitres of horticultural soap. And I'm using a brand here by uh, Pink Sun. And that's readily available on Amazon. And uh, as I say, I've made an in-depth video on how to use neem and all about it, but this is just a bit of a recap. So you want to use here, there you go, five millilitres. Um, the horticultural oil and water doesn't mix. So the reason why you need to use the soap is that it helps to liquefy the, um, the oil so it, can, it all blends together. And then 10 millilitres of the soap. so and then I'm just going to give it all a good mix up you want to make sure that you thoroughly shake the oil and the horticultural soap together because if you don't then oil deposits can get onto the plants and that can cause scorch problems so it's really important that you give it a really good shaky 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 like so and now I'm ready to spray the cactus so that's it's all mixed and you do want to make sure that every time you, you are spraying, every couple of minutes, give it a good shake because I say the oil and the, uh, the soap needs to be thoroughly mixed and uh, spray it up like this. And then what you want to make sure you do, I'm gonna, just going to show you a couple of examples on a couple of the plants. I don't want to bore you with a whole, whole uh, collection, it'll be a long video. You want to make sure that you thoroughly spray all, really, really thoroughly, all of the, 
the cactus, all the stems around. I also like to spray the trays as well because neem oil is particularly effective against spider mites and they, spider mites like to hide all on the trays and underneath, lift everything up as well. And what's good about um, neem oil as well is it also acts as a fungicide. So it also is very good, completely harmless to the plants as long as you make sure you spray it away from direct sun. So as I say, late afternoon or evening is always best when there's no, no sun. And there you go. The reason why I'm focusing on the Camaceris is here and uh, the Raybushas and all of them is because these are spider mite magnets. And I've already seen signs of spider mite because the weather's been pretty good here the past few days. So this is why I want to start them up with this neem treatment. And that's all you need to do. Make sure they're thoroughly, thoroughly soaked. And as I say, it doesn't matter if a bit of the neem oil goes into the soil at this time of year because it will dry pretty quickly. And also, once the, the full growing season is ahead in the next, the next couple of weeks or so, I'll actually be watering these with neem oil because it's also good as a prevention for root mealybugs and also is good for the... It's actually good for the soil as well. And this one at the back is... This is one of my camaceruses. Look, you can clearly see that's got a bad attack of spider mite. And when I do use the neem oil religiously, Throughout the spring and summer months, there's no signs of pests. As soon as I stop using it in the winter time, that's when they start to come back. So, as I mentioned about neem oil, it isn't a one, a one treatment that gets rid of pests in one go. You have to repeat it. I'm going to be repeating this treatment again in five days' time, and then again in a week's time, then again in about 10 days' time. And then once I'm on control of everything in here and there's no signs of pests or anything then, I'm going to use it every two to three weeks as a, as a pest prevention. It is very effective if you use it regularly. As I say, give it a shake. And that's basically it. Make sure you're giving it all a thorough soak in there. And I do think this time of year now, it's safe enough if the bit of, bit of the neem gets into the, the soil. It doesn't matter. I so say I haven't watered any of these or started any of these that we're watering. So this might be a bit of a, almost like a bit of a pre-water for them in a way. And uh, very good. But do check out the videos I've made on how to use the neem in a lot more detail if you're new to using it. I can highly recommend it. So I hope you found that video useful. Should you know how to um, get rid of pests and prevent them most importantly by using the neem oil, highly recommend. And before I go any further, I want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance Hans, who has been filming me behind the camera, so I've had my hands free to do the neeming. So do go over and subscribe to Hans's amazing YouTube channel, Plant Daddy, links up above. And also please do subscribe to me too. And for lots more uh, cacti and succulent videos, lots of tips, do please subscribe as I mentioned. And also do check check out my website desertplantofavalon.com and for regular updates on what's happening with my plants and what's coming into flower also you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. So thank you so much for watching everybody and I want to wish you all an amazing plant powered day and happy spring y'all.